In this video, we'll go through all of the different trading bots on Binance. There are a few different ones with different outcomes and the way that they trade is different as well. So you can choose the one that most suits you and the outcomes that you want from your trading with the bot. I'll leave all of the different bots as timestamps in the description so you can click through to each one individually. Firstly, we're gonna go through to the auto invest bot. By the way, if you want a deposit bonus on Binance, I'll leave their link in the description. If you're new, they'll give you a deposit bonus up to $600. So check out that link if you want that bonus. Firstly though, we're gonna to go to the auto invest bot. This is very simply just a dollar cost averaging bot where you can set up uh, an investment at different timeframes. This is good for dollar cost averaging if you're long term and you wanna get into a coin, but you don't wanna get caught out at a high price or a low price, you just wanna buy at regular intervals. So you can come up to the earn part of the app right here, Binance Earn. Um, like I said, if you haven't got an account yet, link in the description, you can come through and see all of this. Um, and then the auto invest is very simple. It's gonna let you invest over a period of time. The first thing that you need to do is get some US dollar tether or some Binance USD on the platform. So go ahead and deposit, get some BUSD or USDT. Then just simply choose the coin that you want to invest in over time. So if you want a dollar cost average over the long term, like with Bitcoin or Binance coin, you can see um, the historical return on investment for uh, a dollar cost average. Go to the right hand side, just click create a plan. It's as simple as that. And you can choose either USDT or BUSD. So these are stable coins. Now what's good with this is that you can actually put those stable coins into Binance savings and earn um, interest on them. So if you go up to savings, so go to earn and then savings right here, put your US dollar tether or BUSD into savings and you can get, I think 10% interest on the dollars whilst they're waiting to actually go ahead and dollar cost average. So click on create a plan, then um, choose how much you wanna put in per time frame. So let's say $250, you can say monthly or weekly, whatever it is, and then you can choose the start date and it's gonna put that amount in at regular intervals as you decide. Now, if you don't have any balance in your account, then it just won't buy it. If you do have balance, um, then it's gonna go, you wanna click this, right? Use flexible savings balance. So you can keep your dollars in your flexible savings earning interest. And then when the, the time comes to actually go ahead and buy, it will take the money out of there and then go ahead and purchase. This is a great way to just automate dollar cost averaging in cryptos that you want to invest in over the long term. The next bot you can use is a TWAP bot, which stands for Time Weighted Average Price. This is something that we used to use a lot when I was actually trading and we had clients ringing in saying, I want you to get me in or out of a stock and I want you to get a price that is at least as good as TWAP. TWAP was the benchmark when you're a broker. So, you know, if you get a worse price than TWAP, you're doing a really bad job as a broker and, you know, clients are gonna definitely be angry. But TWAP is, is simply a bot that will trade and um, make sure that it trades along over a time period so that you don't get a bad trade. I'll show you how to do this. It's in smart trading in the bot section. So we come down to TWAP and press create. Now this is a futures bot. So you are going to be ha having to trade in the futures market. So if you do trade futures and you're putting together some plans, instead of just opening your position at once, you can um, essentially open your position over a period of time for that day and then get a decent price and you know not get a terrible um, you know price when you actually go ahead and trade. So I'm just gonna click off this and on the right hand side, as you can see, you're gonna to want to enter an amount in. So your total size is whatever that you want to trade. And then obviously you're going long or short, right? So you're taking a position like, I want to go long and I want to TWAP over, let's say five hours. And then the uh, bot is going to do that for you. So the duration right here, you can set, let's say one hour or you know 30 minutes or something like that. So if you want to buy, let's say a thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin over five hours, it is going to just bit by bit come in and open that position for you. This prevents you from getting a bad trade where you enter a long and then suddenly the price drops and you're like, oh, that was a bad trade. A TWAP just smooths out your, smooths out your entry and simply um, invests over that time frame, So you can get a better entry in terms of not getting a bad trade and then you can just simply go long and then when you want to, or, or short, and then when you want to get out of your position, you can TWAP the exact same amount. This is usually better for much larger orders that will have a big impact on the price, but you can use it with smaller orders as well just to make sure that you're getting a decent price um, for your entry when you either go long or short. What you can see when a TWAP is running is you'll obviously have that trade in 
press go long, it will come down to the bottom left here and it will say running. So if when that's running, that will obviously be working for you. And then when you have the position, that will be a futures position, either long or short, and you can see that down here. Now, if you want to trade out of it, you can very just simply go to sell short and sell short the exact amount of your position. You can obviously have here sell out as well. There'll be an option here. So that's how it, uh, it kind of enters that position. And you can see all of your positions down here. Next is grid bots, and these are very popular. People run them for the long term or the short term, and they essentially try and trade actively um, via set parameters to try and eke out a yield out of the market from trading volatility. So I'll show you how to use these and the difference between spot grid and futures grid here. So you want to come to trade and then go down to strategy trading, and I'll take you through to the um, you know the bot page. So I'll go over exactly how a grid bot works. Um, so you can make a decision on whether you want to use it or not. A grid bot essentially creates grids of buyers and sell orders. A buy low and a sell high is one grid, and that is a profitable trade that it then makes profits from back into your portfolio. But it does this over and over again. So you have to have an upper bound and a lower bound. And anything above or below that, if the price is there, the grid bot will not trade that. So you have to put it within a within a, an upper and lower bound. Now what happens is that the grid or the bot will put in just ratcheted buy orders at many different prices. And it will put sell orders in at many different prices above that as well. And then what happens when the price moves around is that essentially what you want the grid bot to do is buy something here and then sell it here. And then as it moves down again, it will refresh that particular bid to buy some more. Right, So if the price now moves down, it's actually not going to sell that at a loss, but it's going to keep it in your portfolio. So it's going to keep adding and buying at lower prices. Let's say it gets down here, it's going to buy one. So now you have two buys. Now, when the price moves back up, this buy down here that you just bought will get sold. And if the price moves up again, the, the, uh, the higher price that you paid will also be sold. Now, it just refreshes those bids and offers over and over and over again, as long as the price is in this. So what I think a grid bot is great to do is really try and eke out some extra profits out of the market, given that you're buying and selling a lot of times. Some of the downsides here is that you'll be paying more trading fees because you're trading more actively. Um, and also, you know, if the, uh, if the price moves outside of the bound, then you're going to stop trading. So you do have to actively manage it a little bit. I think for most of the time, I just hodl my coins. But if you want to try and earn some extra yield out of the market, then that's what people use these grid bots for. I'll show you how to implement a grid trading bot then. This is the spot grid. Spot grid means cash settled. So you're not trading futures. You're not going on leverage or anything. It's just cash right there and it's going to trade it for you. So on the right hand side, as you can see, there's two options. You have auto and manual. I would suggest auto is probably the best because the bot already knows what parameters it should use to make the best outcome. And it does that on previous results where it says, I think I should put this amount of money in with the lower and upper bound um, you know, set by the bot. Now, remember that if you have a upper and lower bound that's very, very far apart, it means that your purchases are spread out over a much larger price range. And so each per each purchase has to be smaller um, because the because you need uh, you know cash at each different level. If you have a, a price range that is very short, you can concentrate your trading and your buys in a much smaller price range. And so you can make slightly more percentage profit per grid. There's pros and cons to this. If you have a very small grid, it's more likely that the price will move outside and you stop trading altogether. If your grid is way too large, then you're going to have such a small amount and it's going to be difficult to make money out of trades. So for me, somewhere in the middle is good, obviously dependent on where you think the price will go as well. Or you can just go to auto and let it do it for you. You can choose a time period of 730 or 180 days. You can see that the bot here has just automatically said, we're going to trade Bitcoin between 15,800 and 24,400. It's done that because it's looked at previous prices here and said, that's a range that it's going to trade in most likely over the next 30 days. And so we don't need to make the uh, upper and lower bound bigger. We can concentrate between those prices. Profit per grid, as you can see here, is 0.4%. See the number of grids. The more grids that you have, the smaller percentage uh, profit per grid that you make because, you're, because they're closer together. If you had two grids, you would have to buy down here and then wait for the price to get way up here to sell. Obviously, more grids means the 
the profit that you make per grid is less, but you have more opp opportunity to trade. This is a pro and a con, and you have to obviously get the absolute best mix of all of all of those things. And that's what the bot does automatically for you by choosing this. Now, all you have to do is get some BUSD in your account, choose how much you want to invest, like $1,000 or something. And then the grid bot will enter a position at this level. Um, and then it will trade for you over that time. Now, you can also do manual, which is everything the Autobot does. You can even copy the parameters here, copy to manual settings like that, and it will take you over to the manual bot, as you can see on the right-hand side, but you can change it as well. So if you believe that the um, price is actually gonna move up a little bit, you can maybe move that up a little bit. If you think that 20,000 actually is probably where you wanna trade, then you can do that. Um, so, you know, you can change that around as you want. And then the amount of grids you can change as well. Again, I would just use auto because the bot knows way better than me, um, you know, how it's going to make the, or try to make the most amount of money, put your investment in, how much you want to actually uh, invest. And then the advanced options here, trigger price just means, do you want to set a trigger price for the bot to actually start trading? You can do that at the current price, which is 2001, or you can set the trigger price to maybe like 19,000, right? And that would be under the current price. So the grid wouldn't start trading until the price gets to 19,000. Again, I wouldn't do that. I'll just let the bot do its thing and then stop triggers. So for example, if you start a long bot, that obviously you want the price to rise generally and it starts coming down, do you want to get out of the bot and take a loss to prevent like more further losses? Because remember, once you start buying things, if the price moves down, you won't sell anything. You'll just keep buying down here. And then if the price moves down, then you've, you've just got a long position. And so what you can say to the bot is, if I'm losing money, put my stop loss um, at let's say 18,000 and get out of everything if that's what you want to do. And then a take profit, if it does move up a long way, you can do that as well. Once you have that grid bot running, it will just be down here in the running bots. You can cancel them at any time as well. But I think for something like Bitcoin, it's really more of a long-term thing because the price is less volatile. If you think a, a small altcoin that's supported is gonna be crazy volatile soon, then you might wanna run that for a smaller amount of time and kind of take your luck on that. Further on from that, if you want to trade futures, you can trade a futures grid bot. It's exactly the same type of bot, but because you're using futures, you get a few advantages and a few extra risky things that you might have to be aware of. So you can choose futures grid here, click create. It's exactly the same in terms of the bot and what it does. It just tries to trade actively for you, um, you know, based on set parameters. The difference with futures though, is because with futures, you can do a few more things like you can actually go short. Right, so you can have a, a bot that is weighted towards shorting and selling first and trying to buy back lower rather than trying to take long positions and gradually sell them higher. So you can um, set this up as you want. It's gonna be uh, weighted either long or short as you want. I'm gonna read these out to you as well so you can see them. Neutral is ideal for range bound markets. Create sell and buy orders with grid with no positions, right? So you're just looking to trade within a range if nothing really is happening and just say, I wanna buy and sell and not really take any massive positions. Long, ideal for trending and volatile bull markets. So if you're in upwards trending markets, then you want to obviously lean towards going long and trying to sell at higher prices, right? Short is ideal for trending and volatile bear markets. So if you think the price is coming down, if you're in a bear market, you obviously wanna start that first and look to sell first, get some sell orders in and buy them back lower. So the bot's gonna do all of that for you. And again, putting it in is very simple. You have an auto upper and lower bound number of grids. Um, now you can also use margin here with futures up to 20X as you can see. I'm just gonna uh, place that on here. You can put that margin down though. If you're a newbie or you're not experienced with leverage, you know, I would recommend not using it. Leverage obviously increases risk substantially, uh, risk of loss and risk of basically your whole portfolio getting wrecked because the trade moves against you. But you know, if you're experienced with leverage, then that option is there when you trade the futures, just put your initial margin in right here. So uh, again, if you wanna know more about leverage and stuff, I'll leave some um, videos in the description about trading futures, but just put that trade in, press confirm how, how much you wanna trade, and then that will be um, you know running down here as well. You can also see trading analytics for all these bots as well and see what other people are doing. So if you go to the main page and then go to trading analytics, you can switch between spot and futures grids. 
you can see how many bots are running for each trading pair to see what the most popular ones are. If you go to futures grid, you can see the ratio of long versus short uh, grids and neutral grids as well. So see what people are trading and how they're positioning themselves. And then you can see the volatility top 10. Like I said, with really volatile pairs, we want to make sure that we're not getting caught in at the top. For example, Santos was really popular because the football season started. Is that going to continue over the long term or would we be getting in at the wrong time? That's something to consider when getting into uh, bots with smaller altcoins uh, and then the futures grid as well. You can see the volatility here. Again, that may be something that you actually want to avoid rather than getting into if you're already late to that. But you can see all that there. That is trading with bots on Binance though. If you want to get that uh, deposit bonus on Binance, that link is in the description for you. I'm James with Money DG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.